Banyamu Residences, located on the east coast in the Cape Yamu area. For those who seek tranquility, peaceful, stunning views and convenience, go to banyamu.com. Welcome to Phuket News TV, I'm Jason Wilder and joining me today is Gary Krauss from Legend Music Studio. How are you doing Gary? Very well, thank you. Thanks for having me on the show yet again. You're more than welcome. Now we've got the Battle of the Young Bands coming up again, which is very exciting. Tell us what's going on, where do the people need to be? Yeah, fantastic. It's the third annual Battle of the Bands, Battle of the Young Bands, and it happens at Hard Rock Cafe on Sunday the 4th of May at 3pm to 7pm on the inside stage. So won't be rain affected and it'll be nice and cool because it's air conditioned. Great, now is it just one event this year? Because you had like, ra like uh, knockout rounds last time. Tell us about the situation this time. Yes, this time around it's a single event. We, um, we limited the entries to 10 bands. Uh, we've got 11 on the bill because as it would happen, the last two bands kind of entered at exactly the same time. So we just thought, well, let's let 11 bands in. So it's 11 bands, uh, six from international uh, schools, five from Thai schools, uh, be it schools or music schools, and uh, all young bands, obviously, because of the Battle of the Young Bands, and it's going to be a fantastic competition. This year, we've also, uh, a couple of changes were made. It's a single event, and we've also allowed vocal groups. So we've got one young vocal group that has entered. And does that mean with uh, tape backing, with, with sort of already arranged backing? Absolutely. So, so it's not full band, but they, they're allowed because they have vocal skills. Exactly, because they have vocal skills, there's going to be four of them in the band, um, and you know, like Backstreet Boys or NSYNC or whatever, they're going to do the little dance routines and sing, and you know, that's as valid as a band. Okay, yeah, fair enough, because performance, performance as well, etc. Exactly. And that's going to be even harder for judging because it'll give it a new aspect. Now, talking about the judging, I, I feel oh. honoured. I've been asked again, and I, I love this event. I think it's great to see the local young talent who are getting up there on the stage and doing their stuff and bringing it on the day. Uh, now, what are the judges going to be looking for? What am I going to be having to look for on the stage? Well, you're going to be looking, obviously, for a, for a variety of things. Uh, one, firstly and foremostly, is is the band capable of doing what they've set out to do? So if they're playing, are they competent players? Are they competent singers? Um, what is their stage show like? Because after all, this is a show-enabled competition, so they've got to put on the best show that they can. They've got to keep us entertained. You're going to be looking for how the crowd responds to, uh, to these guys. And, um, you know, overall, Vibe. The overall performance, yeah, yeah the absolutely. overall performance. Song choice, you know, song choice is always very important for a competition, and I try and hammer that home with all of the bands that uh, that I get involved with and, and, you know, teach and mentor and things like that, is, you know, if, if on the day you're coming to a competition like this, you've only got two songs to make sure that you persuade the judges to vote highly for you. Yeah. And if you come on and you sing, you know, two ballads in a row and the crowd's kind of you know, going to buy drinks while you're singing, you know, you've missed the boat. Yeah. It doesn't matter how you perform those songs. You've got to put on that show, you've got to bring something that enables you to put on the show. So there you go, kids. Diversity is important. Keep Absolutely. a range, show the skills <laughs> all across the board. Now, as well, let's talk about some of the sponsorship because there's massive cash prizes in, involved in this year's uh, there competition. Is. Uh, that, again, is one of, uh, another one of the many changes we made this year. Historically, this competition's been a winner-takes-all. Um, and then what we used to do is we used to prohibit the band that won from uh, playing yeah. the next year because you know if one really good band just comes in and shows it up every year, no one else will get any prizes. This year, we've split the prizes between three um, uh, bands, so first, second, and third place. First place, 25,000 baht, cash, three songs recorded at Legend Music, music video made by these guys over here. But you guys. No, uh, you guys out there, these guys behind. <laughs> these guys behind, behind the scenes, behind the, scenes. Behind the cameras. Yeah. <laughs> and, and a media package from, from you guys. You know, So you're gonna, they're going to get to talk on the radio. If they record some good songs, they'll get played on the radio. So a nice package that'll you know, give the winning band a foot up in the local marketplace. Second prize, 15,000 baht cash. Third prize, 10,000 baht cash. Now those sponsors, the cash sponsors, um, the Phuket International Academy Day School, PIADS, yes. they, um, from probably for the last 18 months, have got really, really serious about their involvement in the arts um, programs. So they've built a really nice new center at, at their school, um, specifically for music and for drama and dance and um, 
it was a logical step for us to go to them and say, would you, you know, consider being a sponsor? And they were like, sure, you know, who else? Us. We're serious about this stuff. So they threw all the money at it. So accelerating it up and giving it a, a big prize at the end of the day. Absolutely. Absolutely brilliant. Right, OK, so you've got the bands. They're already sorted in, so entries time, registration is closed. Sorry Absolutely. for the rest of the kids and for the big kids. I wasn't allowed to enter. That's why I'm being a judge. I ask him <laughs> every year. He's never going to let me do it, though. Um, so exciting times. It is a massive event. Looking forward to it. Looking forward to being there. I will mention one thing. Um, we, we, we have been given a directive by the Hard Rock Cafe, who are obviously the venue sponsor. A great venue as well. What a Fantastic. place! What a place for kids uh, to play. Exactly. Every young band wants to. Every old band wants to play at a Hard Rock. Every cafe. band wants to play at the Hard Rock Cafe. <laughs> anyway, for the supporters, the Hard Rock Cafe have committed that um, if you're a, if you're a resident of Phuket and you come to the Battle of the Young Bands. They will graciously give you a 25% discount on your food and beverage. For the, Fantastic. For the so on those great steaks, burgers, drinks, delicious beverages, 25% discount. Yep. And do you have to prove anything? Do you have to give anything to show that? or Probably not. No. They'll, they'll, they'll take just make sure. They'll, they'll know. They'll know you're there to see the kids rock Absolutely. out. Absolutely. That's what it's about. Yeah. Well, Gary, thank you very much for coming in there, chatting to us about the Battle of the Young Bands. We're looking forward to it. Uh, who, have you got any favourites you might think of uh, going to get through? <laughs> Of course I have a favourite. Of course you have a favourite, but you wish them all well, don't you? But I wish them all well. You know, there's um, there's going to be some really good ones this year. Uh, you know, a couple are returning from last year, a few changes. Obviously, um, because I manage Legends of Siam, which is why I can't be a judge, um, I wish them well and I hope that they place really well in the competition. But there's, you know, the Thai bands always knock the socks off of us. Those guys. Last year, incredible. Way last year, more than last year's winners, bands. last year's winners, Sigma. <laughs> Forget about it. They were just amazing. Exactly. You know, I'll, I'll say one more thing. You know, when we got involved in this competition, we were only exposed to the Farang bands, the international school bands. And they're great. Make no mistake, they're fantastic. And then last year we started getting Thai bands entering and they just they just raised the bar. Yeah. From like there to there. And, yeah. and all the little international school bands were like, oh my word. So first thing this year. Which is great for them because they'll have to lift their game. Are there any Thai coming? Are there any Thai bands? Like, yes, there is. There's five of them that have entered this. So oh, you better get on with your prizes. <laughs> get in your rooms, practice with your guitars, exactly. with your drums. In front of that mirror. <laughs> Give it a stick. But anyway, thank you so much Brilliant. for having me. Come on, come on. I'm Jason Wilder from Live 89.5, and joining us was Gary Krause from Legend Music here on Phuket News TV. Chuck Dina Cup, Sawadee Cup, Dinan Cup.